So, welcome back. Uh, it's a Mustang day today. I was about to go ahead and pull this in the garage, put it on these lifts, and uh, do these brakes. But, I don't really feel like doing that much work today. So, uh, what I'm working on now is... I've been back trying to bang these little dents out, get this set up right to where the headlights will sit in there, right? And then this is bent. So I've been kind of messing around with this, trying to see if I can just bend it back more into shape so it'll so the headlights will fit without the... Because uh, right now the, the hood was coming down and it was like hitting on the headlights. So I need, I need that to bend forward a little bit more. So hopefully I got that bent all the way up. But while I got it all out, and I was thinking, I can see this grommet right here perfectly since I don't have fenders on here. So, uh, I don't have any audio wire, and it's going to be a minute before I put a system in, but I do have regular wire. So, I'm going to go ahead and run my wires through the firewall for my halos, which I got halos in the new headlights. Uh, I didn't record none of those. It went by kind of quick, but uh, I got halos in the new headlights. When I get my grill fog lights, I'm putting halos in those. So I'm going to go ahead and run the wires for my switch for those, for the fog lights, and for the underglow. So get out of it out the way real quick. So it's going to pop out down here. Uh, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and run all of that, and uh, I'll be back. So this is a fog light kit that I had with, uh, I don't know, some car I did a couple years ago. But... I don't really like these buttons, but while I got it, I'm going to use this, and then I'll probably just cut this off and get a new button on down the road once I actually get the fog lights in. But uh, this already has power for the button, and then it's got a return wire that's going to go towards whatever you turn it on, and it's got a ground, which is basically to ground out that little section so those lights come on and off when they're supposed to. But I'm going to run those, so... For now, we'll just say this is for the fog lights. Uh, this power wire that's coming in, I'm going to break this off into a different switch, and then I'll run this wire for a return wire. So this will be the wires to power on my halos. And got another wire. So I have three different colors, but this will power my underglow whenever I get it. So it'll be three switches. This will branch off into three switches, and then it'll be this yellow wire going back towards the fogs, blue towards the halos, red towards the underglow. So it'll be three buttons. I, I literally just thought about this like um, a couple minutes ago. So I don't even know where I'm putting the buttons. I might slap them all down here, or uh, really I could take this out, put some buttons in here. So right on a button spot like like that's a button but none of these are buttons so i could just put them up here but uh like i said i hadn't really gave this much thought so i figured out as i go and could put them beside this but who knows but i'm gonna at least have the wires ran so that'd be one less thing i got to worry about you know it's nothing to actually screw a couple holes and drop some switches in so I get to that when I get to it, but uh, for now, let's get these wires through while it's easy. All right, so this is super easy when you got everything out the way. So screwdriver is poked through, and I can easily see it right here. So I can just grab the wires out and fish them through that little hole right there, which comes out down in there. So then I can just run them up. Run them across under there, straight to, uh, well, one to the battery, and the other down to wherever I put the control boxes. So, pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these wires and pull them through. 